And welcome back to quarter number two of the Blitz. Last Friday, the Estacado Matadors shocked a lot of folks with a 36-30 upset win over the Coronado Mustangs. Depth seemed like it would play some kind of factor or maybe be a stumbling block for the smaller school mats, but not so. Instead, showing some true grit to score in the final minutes to hold off a hard-charging Mustang offense. This week, the Matt's heading north to take on former district foe Pampa, who hasn't posed much of a fight in the last few meetings. But hey, it's Friday night, high school football, anything can and will happen. Let's head up there to the Panhandle. Another matchup we're excited about, though, between these two. First quarter here, Pampa ball, Tucker Bridwell finds Bryson. Murak for a nice 15-yard gain. That leads to a Caleb Caldwell touchdown run, and it's 7-0 Harvesters. Same score, Jalen Dobbins' turn, and he's going to find T.J. Steele, breaks a tackle, gets the nice 30-yard gain. Same drive, Dobbins with the quarterback keeper, dives in the end zone for the score, 7-7. And the Mats move on to to 2 and 0 because they come from behind. They were actually trailing in this game. They win this one 30 to 24. They'll play Caprock next Friday at 7:30. Borger in town for Lubbock High's homecoming. First of two times they'll do that this season. They'll play Estacado a little later in the season right here. First quarter, Cameron Chambers bounces outside, takes it 25 yards to pay dirt and a 7 nothing Bulldog lead. Still in the first. Bulldogs driving again. Camden Hernandez's pass is tipped and picked by Western and DB Tahirina. Now Lubbock High is going to capitalize on this. Four play, 92 yard drive, the touchdown tied at seven. Second quarter, Border punting from deep in their own territory. It sails over the punter's head and out of the end zone for a safety. Lubbock was up 9-7, but right now they trail by 10 points late in the fourth, 33-23. Now we head down to shallow water where the Mustangs take on the Lobos of Leveland. And Leveland starts the game with a nice short pass there. Jason Ramirez just short of the end zone. Next play though, that's going to set up this next run by Isaiah Salazar to make it 7-0 Leveland. But hey, here come the shallow water Mustangs. They will answer, get the Mustang touchdown there. They missed extra point, 7-6 the score. It actually went back and forth, and Shallow Water pulls off the big win after losing last week to Idaloo. They win by eight, 28 to 20 is your final. Speaking of Idaloo, let's go over there now. Pick up the action second quarter of their game against Seminole. Tied at seven, Damon Espino takes the ball, finds the end zone for the Indians, but the play is brought back for a holding call. Next play though, Casey Andrews scores for Seminole there. The two point conversion, and it's 15 to seven. Indians with the lead. Not to be outdone here, Phoenix Babia runs this one in from 30 and we have a 20 to 10 game. Wildcats, and this is a this was a, actually a pretty active game back and forth. Let's get a final score on this one as well. And look at that, Seminole squeaks out a win by the thinnest of margins, 22 to 21. Let's get a check on some scores around the area. Sonora, no problem with Amisa in that one. 50 to nothing is your final. It was Slayton. Look at that. One point win. So we got a couple of games like this this week. Uh, 13 to 12 is your final. Denver City, they are rolling as well. 48 to 14 over Littlefield and New Deal. They look pretty poised to make another run at the playoffs. 43 to 12. So they go to 2 and 0 oh 